is going to be pretty much the uh, Bird Brain Adventures, in which case we're going to have just mostly everyone as Kinkus. So we have Bumblebee, we have Kwe, and we have Arcadius. <laughs> we're missing one player, but no, nonetheless. Um, so we can now start, we can actually now begin. So, prologue. Birds of a feather, dirt together. Oh. The snow outside the tower was as white as a lily. All around was just a calm as a regular winter's day could be. That is until you enter the large wizard tower. The structure was as tall as a silo for wheat, along with a small hut that seems to be uh, to look like a farm homestead. All around the homestead, it was all quiet until a small colorful explosion from the outside of the tower pops. Soon an echo of crows calling all excited from the explosion. You just hear an old voice just scream out in anger. No, no! I asked for all that were more. Inside the tower, the room, everything is all rustic looking. All covered around like ancient chambers and ships. Ancient chambers and thus also filled with just potions, charms, various other herbs and devices as well as different tones of bird feathers and questionable different. At the highest point of the tower, we find pretty much where most of the activity is. This is where the owner of the tower would sleep and do various other things. So a murder of Kenkus are all doing whatever task they were given. Somewhere, uh, somewhere on the beams and the ceilings, popping scriptures, others were running back and forth, racing with bottles, um, to be able to fill up questionable liquids. All around the table you see an array of various alchemical devices, gems, and herbs. But there's one of these gems that seem to be an odd shape and quite large in size. We find our heroes joining this distillery, stuck with cleaning and recycling bottles. You guys are feel free to now interact and thus Oh, almost forgot. While you guys were on task, immediately something wraps around your mind, your eyes, everything. This is affecting all of you as to all of a sudden your vision changes. So instead of the bleak and demeanor of how things are, it's now whimsical and colorful and it gives you guys purpose. Almost as if you guys want to do something now. Bumblebee is singing. Bumblebee is singing, and she's singing, and she's like. Come on, Disney. Disney. Disney Universe now. Bumblebee has seen that play many times. And then I guess Quay would be on the other side of the master just going, Quay, 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 Quay. Yeah, but we don't have to. She hasn't broken the biggest. Cat Scratch is surrounded by by colorful smoke. <laughs> or Cat Hits. Yeah, Cat Hits is surrounded by magical smoke. All right, so you guys can check around everything. So I mean, I have like, I have that So you get to see that everything just nice. Bumblebee is gonna look for the thing. But she's probably not gonna find it. She's gonna look for something that's like out of place. That is that perception or is that perception? That could be either one. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're already fixed on what you're looking for. I mean, I'm just, one, I'm trying to put it on the one reason to put it on the other one reason to put it on the other one reason to put it on the Oh, okay. Uh, not, not 20. Not 20 or? No, no, no. Like, what is it? Okay. 
So, looking for you, I managed to see one of the There's two kenkus, two kenkus crabs on, on the beach, uh, beach close to all, uh, all of you guys. And they're just there scribbling. Like they're grabbing random scrolls and copying them all consistently. You see one robed kenku just standing around, just waiting for something. And several other kenkus just running back and forth with. Um, empty bottles that some of, some of the ones that you can that you all finish. Specifically, you can place this one on there. This is be the one Kenku that the road Kenku that you guys see. So do you want to try rolling as well or do you or allow her to guide everybody? Well you, you can roll this just spot the same way as how she's she's doing. So D20 to see. See if you spot anything. Anything different. So she notices everyone in that room already. All I notice is that. D20 and then it's your perception and investigation. So the perception. That would be your wisdom. Yeah, it's going to be your wisdom plus plus uh, four. So whatever you roll, plus four. <laughs> At least not one. So that plus four is going to be a six. So you're in the same boat as like her being able to see pretty colors and everything. <laughs> I think you had too much smoke. <laughs> that, 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 that worm ward affected you. Alright, so. I walk up to Mr. Rose King. Does he seem like he's the one in charge? He kind of seems like the one in charge, but remember? They're all kinkers. Oh. Under, under someone. So he's just there, waiting. So you have also a scribe if you want. So that are on top, and then you have also the one scattered out. So we all seem like we're under like a kind of spell? Or right now you just see that everything's colorful. Nice, okay. but it still seems like normal. It's a normal day instead of just everything being gray. Everything is colored. We got colors! Now, now it's 4K HD. <laughs> Blu-ray. Right. 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 So I'm going to walk up to like, the subscribe and be like, what you doing? Please, Don't do me. I can only speak in Russian. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Copy, copy, must copy, copy, paste, copy, copy, paste. So by asking, uh, by asking it, so pretty much, they, they look to, uh, look down to you. What one? Oh, fuck. Wait, what? What want? What you want? <laughs> I'm just kind of like looking over their work. Like. So uh, that that scribe looks at his uh, has page that he's copying and pretty much just uh, mentions the one tidbits inside. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Oh my god. <laughs> Does the other... <laughs> oh. Oh, no. another, another, uh, another note, be wary of side effects. Wait, so should I read what's right? Like, that's what he's oh, like, that's what, that's what he's, says. he's saying in that voice. Like advertising oh, like, voice. Advertising? That one, that one is. Oh gosh, I'm gonna go to the other one and just like, say things like, what's she doing? Oh god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> In the most posh voice possible, he looks up to you and everything and stuff. Here we have the intricate well, uh, old thing. Be, be very good. It is very intoxicating. The intricate what? Intricate or beaver. The very posh British accent. Yeah. Oh, posh is that? I just like the way that sounds. Oh, Weaver. Mm -hmm. um, I 
walk up to Quinn and I'm like, oh, Diva? What? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Immediately the little, uh... Wait, what? The rogue guy? Yeah, the, uh, the wizard, the wizard Kenku, and here's one, uh, one thing, walks out of the door. Comes back in grand smoke and everything, and just walks back in emitting this raggedy voice with such stern. It's like, hear me once, and follow my orders. Send out the three buggers to deal with the pest next uh, next door. They have invaded us for the last time. If they fail, they shall be dinner for tonight. That is all. It, it just like, just caused, it's like, nodding. Pointing. And they all look at us. Well, um, okay. I'm just gonna kind of open the door and see what the pest is. Well, the pest is downstairs. Oh my god, I'm gonna like... Where the homestead is. Oh so, so the thing is, uh, the, ro the rogue uh, Kenku uh, just walks around, looks further and stuff, and just pretty much just tells you in the same type of manner, like, pack your things, grab what you need, go now. You, you. Ah, okay, bye. <laughs> just packing stuff. And I'm like, um... Well, you guys can roll, yeah. or just just a general D20. Okay. Where'd my D20 go? Where'd my pretty one go? Don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, lucky for you guys, at least someone was able to pack some specifically. So, for, uh, for you, Specifically, um, you managed to pick up at least. Oh, oh yeah, the one food ration and three open bottles of cured minor wounds. Or cure light wounds. Open. No, they're open because it only gives you the base two. Oh, okay. So it just gives you half of, of the full power. Ah, okay. Yeah. Like they don't even use Yeah, they There's a lot of uh, bottles around there that look like they're used. In your case, you find at least three of those. Okay. And at least two food rations. For you. Uh, you managed to do one really, really good thing. Because not only that, were you able to um, roll higher. How about, uh, who has sleight of hand? Me too. Do you want to try rolling that too? Sure. Oh! Okay, so hold on. I have the slide of the I'm, I don't know. Does that say expert poetry? Okay, so do I yeah. add the decks or do I add the... No, you add plus three. Alright. So eight. So eight, yeah. Um, now 20 plus four. So you managed to also benefit from this whole thing. So for you, when it comes to items, you were able to at least procure two ten feet worth of like rope, but you know, makeshift from the Kenkus. So it's pretty great, not the best. Also a makeshift grappling hook. It looks like, you know, just a bunch of fishing hooks all attached together. So 20 feet of rope and a makeshift grappling hook. A pouch of small pond rocks. So at least up to 10, two pouches. Plus the 10 that I already have. Yep, and two cheese wedges. Did I get the same thing, or what did I get? You, well you got your uh, your other items, but you managed to get, you managed to swipe a few of the bottles that you were distilling. You don't know what it is yet, all you know is that you need to be careful of the side effects. And you don't apply directly to the bottle. Okay. <laughs> you also get two small gems. And remember that big, weird-looking gem? Yeah. You took that. Cause shiny. So, with the items that you have thus far, what's your next move? Huh? You have, it was like it's one lashes and, and, and two open bottles of cure wood. 
I look at Quay and I look at and I'm and I'm like, are you ready, kids? <laughs> so, um, Quay. Well, you let like, me be I, a bard. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I'm she just goes, like Quay, and she's like, I am. That's why I'm like. Oh, one, ten, ten, one, So then I got the same thing plus random potion bottles. How many potion bottles did you get? You get three. You got two, you got three. Both of yours were open. But you were able to swipe at least some, uh, two two medium gems ish and that big one. Okay. Uh, plus, nice and shiny. Plus three bashes. No, three of the bootleg no, no, bottles. She, she said bash, you said bashes. I got, no, two bashes. Yeah, I got two, two bashes. rations, okay. three yeah. open cure light wounds. Okay. And then the, an amount the, of potion bottles. Three three po of those bootleg potion bottles. Okay. They're, they're specific because they're green now. Rather than, you know, red. red. Mana! Oh, magic! Oh, yeah, two, two gems and one big shiny. Mm -hmm. So now with what you guys have, you have various options to go out and do your quest. Okay. Is like the pest like outside? It's yeah. inside the homestead. Meaning we have to go out, like down, out the tower, the, down the tower, tower, outside, and then find It's inside this thing. The tower is next to it, like adjacent to it, but you have to go down. Is what's called the tower. Okay. So you have various options. I also forgot to mention the tower is at least 20 feet high. Wait, is there like no stairs that go down the tower? There are stairs. I'm just saying that it's 20 feet high. Okay, so here's the other one we can put. We have we can build. No, you can't you can't shape shift yet, can you? Can I? No. Uh, you don't no. have the spell yet. Yeah, level one druids don't have that. Um, I have druids. <laughs> Okay, so we have the option of using the 20 feet of makeshift rope and grappling hook that I got to just go out the window. I have an explorer. Why would we go out the window if we can go upstairs? And who knows what's on those stairs? That's true. Well, I was gonna say, I was gonna say that. He can find out what's on the stairs. Anybody want to do a perception check around that door? Yeah, sure. Uh, Boy, it's kind of blind. Door? I guess. Door. Door. <laughs> door. Um, so I guess door. we all. We all know. Oh, are we all gonna perception check on the door? Okay, we're gonna like Scooby Doo style it, like. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I like this guy. <laughs> I got a ten. So I got a nine. So, I have 12, you have 14, 19. So, the three of you just pop your heads one on top of the other, just <laughs> yeah. checking out what's on the other side of the door. You just hear more rumbling, and then the owner of the tower in the back angrily trying to remake the formula that the birds accidentally poofed. No door, no door. Oh, other way. Thing is that he's in the way of where the stairs are. Ooh. So you're crossing his main lab to try and get to the stairs. Sneaky, sneaky. Well, I have fun clothes. Okay, I mean, don't, you don't want to waste his phone. Yeah. We can sneaky, sneaky, or we can go out the window with the hooks. We're not going to take damage for the next one. Clamp! I love the sneaky, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, all of a sudden, another pop goes. Window, window, window! <laughs> and then he, the window! And he curses out. <laughs> oh, no. He, fa he failed on his mix. Yeah. Ooh. I, I saw go sneaky. Oh, oh my god, I'm doing though. Oh gosh. Not 20 on the sneaky. So that's a point point. Right? Four cards. Not 20. Uh, stealth? Uh huh. Uh, 12. No, um, dead. Step is dead. Um, how much was yours? Uh, six, uh, so twelve. Twelve? 
Narrowly. <laughs> Narrowly. I'm too fabulous and it's like really hard to not get famous. The owner is still too preoccupied, but you do get a glimpse of who it is from the back. Almost okay. looks like a grand, with all the colors, you almost think it's a grand arc mage. So, high level wizard, his robes are like, almost like a galaxy with stars and, and shapes and milky ways and everything. You just see the universe in his robes. Oh gosh, but I want to recreate those robes already. But he's adamantly trying to re rework the formula after the mugwort incident. Or the, the worm, worm ward. Worm ward. Are hard. Yes, they are. Okay, so you guys just venture on, right? Pass them. And now you can slowly go down the stairs. Or do you want to go at a faster pace? And then I'm just kind of like lightly humping. Fourteen. <laughs> My humming's too loud. So you guys are able to just go down the stairs normally <laughs> in that in that in that pace. Other kenkus are just around, just minding their own business. A few of them, you notice, they're they're actually dragging crates of these things in multiple stacks, mm -hmm. and they have the label of the brand. What's the brand? Well, you'll have to spot. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, investigation or perception? Perception. That would be a perception. Uh, 15. So you get to notice that it's, the, at least, oh, the owner's name is Peralta. So it's Peralta's Miracle Elixirs. It's, and, the, and you actually managed to catch the slogan. If you, de if you feel dead inside, Take a seat. No, wait. It's some other. It's some other word. Um, if it hurts to live, take a sip. So, managed to go down out the door. Anything wrong? Is it still recording? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. As long as it's still recording. So you guys managed to go out the door. You see the, the, the snow, it's a little cold, but somehow it's still warm on you. I think, I think uh, Bumblebee knows the feeling. So, now you guys have managed to go towards the homestead. It's nice and large. You can open the door, it'll just do an old fashioned creaking. But it's still dark. Like it's dark but colorful. So it's there's not not like oh, highly bright. Uh, bright. At which point, it's just still whimsical. But there's a lot of barrels, a lot of machinery and pipes. So it's literally a indoor distillery. It's like the inside of Mary and the Witch's Flower. Just all brewing bootleg potions. So from this point on, you guys can continue on walking forward. And you're going to need my Take? Now you guys can uh, put your fingers there on the map. Do you want me to move this one? Yeah, he's somewhere. Yeah, he's, he's, he's done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I guess let's put the Pia in the one. Because we're going to be the one leave. Well, no, he's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's let the teenager lead. <laughs> well, let's get led by some Gen D know-it-all. <laughs> Her outfit is the shiniest. Let's follow her. Quick! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's over there. 
This works a little bit better for this situation. Right now. So, uh, Alika didn't bring mine because we would have started off with any toes, and it was King, and then there was always Alina. You can just type in between me. So, you managed to go through everything. You hear little footsteps, you hear pattern, but really, really quick. And how's the formation? From the barrels, you see these little roaches all appear. Roachy boy! Oh, oh. So, they're just, they're coming out from, from the barrels and everything, attracted, almost commanded to go after. Again, they're nice and large, big enough so that you guys can fight off of it man to man. Or, or feather to feather. Feather to antenna. So, initiative time. Oh my god, here we go. Okay. Um, minus six. Um, twenty-two. That would be this is a real good dice. I like it. Another pen. I have a 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 pen. I'll find it eventually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well. Oh my god. Um, 
I am going. Yeah, that's gonna be my turn. It's only up. That's how. That's it. All right. Yeah. This is gonna be Sally. The next row. Oh, this is you had me on the This is here. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So I move over. Oh, goes after Quack. So Quack. Does a uh, no, no. no. Uh, I'm gonna okay. do it. Okay. okay, so it's a whiff. It's a whiff. The next one will be roach number one, the one that got hit, retaliating back to you. Does a six hit? No. Okay, we're good. All right, next one will be. So Cat Hiss goes next. What are you gonna? Are you gonna attack this one? Or are you gonna attack the other one? All right. Are you gonna do range or physical? I can. Okay. Uh, twenty and then whatever your uh, it's gonna be a dex. This yeah, this now. Nat twenty. Roll again. Confirm. You rolled a nat twenty. Okay. You at least do. Uh, you, you at least do hit. Um, you don't, okay, no, you're willing to attack, it's nothing to do Unless you have an attack bonus, but you don't have an attack bonus. Yeah, so you just roll for, for damage normally. Okay. So what, uh, so what, how, what die do you use for? Okay, so what, what weapon are you going to use? I'm starting with dark. So that's a level 1d6. It should be a 1d6. Maybe a 1d6. Hold on, I'm pulling up the... I need my data, but... I have you also have that data on my uh, phone. I made an emergency character for you. I made an emergency character for you on my phone. Just in case I actually lost the sheet. So I have stats. <laughs> the square. Yeah. Did you do it? Okay, so three. Uh, there's no pluses for three. Alright, so you did three damage. No, it's one D one D one go up. Okay. Five sets? No, it's just a D4. Okay, so one D4. Oh, isn't there a one D4 plus one of your dexes? No, it's one D4. It's one D4. Yeah. Oh, it, there is a plus. Oh, yeah. You can either use your or your dex there. So your dex is only one D4. So, 1d4 plus 2. That's 4. Alright, so, in total? Uh, that's 4. Alright, so it's still there, but luckily for you, it's just stuck. So, okay, it's your turn. Well, it attacked me, so I attacked him. I'm missing the BLF version. I'm missing the BLF version. Uh, plus? Plus your, uh, whatever your attack is. That's why I think it's super easy. Uh, it's a hit. Yeah, it's a hit. So 12, yeah, you hit it. Okay. So I'm, I'm using a dagger, 
plus your strength. So two plus your plus one. Oh, so it's all it's a two. Yeah, 
Push the buck. Yeah, plus your strength. So, eh, this. Quick. Yeah, that's a hit. That's it. Plus the, plus the water it's, it's dead. It's last spray. It's just dead. Bumblebee's feeling really good about herself. And she's just like dancing and like little colors are showing off. And she's just like... Mm -hmm. So congratulations. You guys managed to now defeat your first encounter. Bumblebee does the orange justice. Like, no, 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 hold on. <laughs> so after the battle, you guys have the option to just now look around, maybe see if there's going to be anything further after you guys, maybe maybe catch something that might sneak up on you, see something strange. Yeah, Okay. Both of you, thankfully, do notice that there's a lot of barrels, a lot of other things. There are occasional other roaches on the underside and things like that. A little further down, you notice that where are you going to have to go? Hence, you have to go traverse around here. So once you cross into one sector, it's random fate. So, since you guys started off immediately at this spot right here, you had your first encounter in this quadrant, so to speak. Well, we have to, I think we have to go So it's up to you guys which path you want to go forward. Okay. All of you managed to walk over 
It's going to be a tight fit, but then once the battle starts, you can scatter it however. Ah. <laughs> Right. Mistake! 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 Cool! Cool! Oh no, I don't like that cool! <laughs> don't like that! Oh no! <laughs> you notice... Oh my god! Along with, along with all these other little roaches, you notice one strange creature in the midst. Mistake! Mistake! And apparently it's following that thing. Mistake! When it no uh, it's just patrolling just around, just trying to corral all the roaches. It's like, no! No! Come, come! You don't go there! Ooh! Pretty! Pretty, pretty! You go die, die! I cast friends on that guy! Oh, yeah, I can't. He happens. Oh, God. <laughs> well, we'll figure out. Well, we'll have to do a... We'll have to do a... Initiative. Unless we're doing the same initiative. Um, you guys can re-roll your initiative. Uh, can I get the rock, paper, scissors, guys? There you go. What did it land on? Well, you have to re-roll. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, no, a one. Uh, so it's, is it 12 plus something? It's 12 plus. Uh, no, it continues with chaos 14. And they change the number of monsters in the field. Okay. So you're about. You're about. You're about. You're about. You're about. You're about. Bumblebee's just like, mistake, mistake, mistake. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. This is gonna be a No, no. So, who gets to go first? Who's an 18? 18? Which one's your? What do you have? Five? How much you want? Okay, Quinn, do you have improved initiative? No, I don't. Okay. Roll. The rat can roll the 18 as well. Nine. Yeah, you go first. The person has 700 milligrams on 
15. Yeah, it's up to that point, and then it's a cube around you, so it's literally a square. So it's like this, you would get me, so you would have to move. Okay. So yeah, you would, you would hit, um... Um, uh, let me, okay, so I can, if I started here, I can move. I am um, 30 feet. So, so you can go up to literally up to Yeah, up to that. Yeah, that means I can go uh, uh, behind this. Yeah. Oh, okay. so you like want so that? So Isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So be right. Yeah. Open the mat and two of the bugs. Okay. So now two of the bugs, right? Two. Yeah. Lucky for you. Oh, lucky for you. Well, sadly, uh, not lucky for you. Damn. Those ones have to be Okay. What do they need for a constitution save? It's just make a constitution save. On a failed save, it doesn't say what the save is, it just say what the is. Okay, how about this? That's yours, all casting DC. Save DC is a 14. A 14? Yeah. Okay. Lucky for you. The rat and and uh okay, so the rat and those two roaches, or no, one of the roaches. These two. They're affected. Okay. The one in front of you is not affected. So what they do is they take 2d8 what of thunder damage. And ten feet. So seven. What 
15 damage and you push 10 away. And then this one only takes half that damage, half the 14. So you did 7 in total or 14? These two take 14 damage. This one only takes 7. Okay, so 14 damage is going to be... Let's say empty blow for the rat. Oh, that's that's not the well, that's for the other one. It's going to be seven. That one's still good. All right. Damage is done. Is that the end of your turn? Okay. Anything I should be aware of for the for the rat as status effects? Just push back. Okay. They just took thunder damage, but not the Yeah, no. The rat, uh, the rat can is just like oh, shock, shock. It moves forward to go and retaliate against you with its blade. Let's see. Thir uh, does a 13 hit? No. Okay, so it swipes right, right past you. Okay, next person is... So you're right here. You can either move or throw your dots. You have to just remember how many dots you have. Or if you, or you can use it. Oh, you can use You can walk up and attack. I got a book. It's a book. Oh, that guy back in the day. I got a book. All right. So, which one are you going to target? Okay. Which one are you going to target? Mm -hmm. Ten plus what? Plus your proficiency. I think your proficiency. Plus. Okay, so 12. You hit it on the dot. So that's all right. Yeah. So you, did a, uh, so you threw it and did a one damage. Plus four? Is it a dart? It's a dart, so dex. Well, you can use the strength of dex. Are you proficient in dex? Because then it's dex plus proficiency. No, I think it's just dex. She just, the dex is fine. That's what she's using. Plus two. So, uh, damage is three. Okay. Okay. Well, on your back. After he got hit with the dart, I'm scurrying on my And and the rat kitten is just getting very agitated. He couldn't control or harbor its uh, its pets. That chest thing is like, I'm pissed off. They rolled a one, so it's like, it was about to bail anyways. So next up would be, after that. Oh. Um, the roach that got moved over, have it hover back, just to be able to attack. So it's going to stand next to you. next to you. So that one, that one gets to roll, does a seven hit. Okay, you're good. I'm going to run up to the rat, 
All right, so it's not looking great. Next on the list is... Uh, I'm going to try to hit the rat again. It's really blank, so we got that. Okay, yeah, I'll just do two. That's what I said. They're both 17. Great. Um, that's, seven, that's 23. That's a hit. Yee. Woo! 7 plus 4, 11 damage. Plus 11? No, 11 damage, yeah. 11 damage? Yeah. Ah, oh, I died, I It's gone. I turned to the roach and I go, ah! Yeah. Or like look over Quest's shoulder like, <laughs> You just walk in. Intimidation. I don't know how tall Kenshi's can get, but she, but Bumblebee is. They're, they can be as, as a size of a bird. Nice. Okay, I like that. Big, big birds are equal to Oh, well, yeah, because lilac crested rollers are like this big, so she's like green. Yeah, they they can range from like. I love it. Yes. From gnomes. Because apparently gnomes are bigger than half. Oh, it's so from half. So it's from half. Okay. Okay. Cool. Be a little, a little bit. So the other the other roach um, moves over up one to the corner from there. Yeah. So move oh, up that no. one to. Go retaliate for its fallen master. Does a 18. Yeah. Yeah. That was a successful hit. Take two. Yeah. All right. Back to the I don't know the politics. I don't know politics. Trying to decide, goes after Katniss. Does a six. Okay, it's a limit. Then I hit the roach that like tried to attack me. Ten. Yeah, I have. Solid ten. Yeah. Four plus six. That's gonna be this. Yeah. Okay. Cool. That one goes for. Yeah. Um, about that one. About that. That one. Let's just say that after it whiffed, it's not trying to decide what to do. That's the one that runs around. Yeah, that one does not want to like live, uh, die another day. They rolled all. Nice. So back to the initiative. It's all you check all the the Nine. Nine. Plus two? No, that was Well, did you roll with advantage because you're flanking the rope? That's it. That's, it was a seven plus advantage plus two. Nine. Oh, I thought you had advantage. No. That's the only advantage. No. Oh, 
Your choice. No, they're stuck in the cage. Oh, they're and the he's guarding them. Okay. So, uh, right one, now, all we have is no, what we see. Just I mean, just dealing with that. If you cross in, in, if you cross in, it's your choice whether to just go through the encounter or see if you can help uh, help them out. I guess it's a bit more touch. Well, Moby wants help. You give me the call, right? Is still it is communicative. Yeah. 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 You don't have to speak with that. Like, the, the, the rat managed to just be able to speak earlier. It just does really simple syllables. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so, well, you still have to roll to see if it's gonna tip a, in, 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 in act the encounter or not. You chose her to go in. So she was well, too. I'm like right here. Yeah, they are giving a friend. Make friends. Well, come on. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you guys oh, yeah, get to. Oh, so it's like. Roll for Z. Yeah. The rats willing to talk. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What what is it? Like general charisma role or what is it? Uh, diplomacy or something. Uh, All that matters. Well, I mean, performance, persuasion. 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 Okay. Okay. <laughs> you don't have all the two blood come up, so the two Yeah. Like, yeah. Alright, so? Uh, yeah, but what'd you uh, roll? A seven? I rolled a 2.5, so I have a seven. Okay. Then, uh, mine is a six plus three. Okay, so what do you want to tell me? Hold on, what do you want to tell the round king? No CC. Okay. That's it. <laughs> Those two mice. Those two mice mice. We don't like mice mice. What? But mice mice are nice. Mice mice nice. But but mice mice nice nice. Are you asking the mice mice if they're nice? Like, <laughs> no, I'm, asking, I'm, just, I'm just repeating the... Okay, quick, quick. Can I make an insight check to see if the mice mice are nice? <laughs> because the rat guy is just like, you guys can go. Yes. So like, why would we let them go? You can check. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. Seven. You just hear a faint whisper, it's like, Give it motion! Give it motion! Wait, give, give the mice the potion or give the guy the potion? The guy the potion. Give the rat the Because the rat is having a, micro, a major headache right now. Oh, oh, okay. I'm going to give the rat one of the green ones, one of the random green ones. <laughs> Here go, head on direct, apply directly to the forehead. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Pretty, pretty, gave me potion, potion. You're welcome. It, appl it, it applies it to his forehead. Okay, I have a lotion on it. Oh no! It applies it immediately. Immediately, the rat king is feeling so much better. You're welcome. But then you notice he has no head. Yeah. Oh no! Did it explode? No. <laughs> no, it's gone, but you can still hear him talk. Oh, it's a it's for <laughs> oh. <laughs> What? Quite confused. <laughs> what is so wrong, wrong? It's like you can't even see your problems. <laughs> I feel, uh, I feel vigorated. Let me go, go now. And walks away. Wait, 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 wait. He's... I want to see. The rat is so happy to skip oh, away. No. <laughs> it it skips know. away, fully rejuvenated. We gotta and run. Everything in its head is gone. Oh, no. We gotta run. No. The rat leaves, bumping oh. into everything. Oh, no. We got her. Oh god, so I come over. I like to, yeah, all I have is the white hand. I don't know. Wait, actually, wait, do, do any of us have? Wait, do you still have? As you guys manage to. Unfortunately, As you guys approach the little wizard mouse, like, you three, good job! That's a weird potion. <laughs> I can't, uh, either way. Please, help us. The keys are over there. I sent my little friend over, but he can't pick it up. Just check where that lady went. Okay. So, uh, 
where he's where he's pointing. There's a little desk close by around there, and there's a ladybug just sitting on it. It just can't pick up the keys. Pick up the key. Oh God! <laughs> I don't know if the mice mice are nice. Thank you. Thank you very much, you did. We've been stuck here for, uh, for hours. These rat people don't know, uh, don't know what, go or what good if it slap them in the face. My name is Magnus. And this here is Smithy. Just, just, just cross arm, my arm. We're both indeed thankful. You guys can ask me for a question real quick. Okay, I hold up, I hold up that in this The only best we know is the rat. They is a rat folk. They they came in. We come in just scouting around, but then they captured us. You passed outside. We came in just to check, and then they captured us. Well, hmm. so thankfully you you three showed up and were able to get us out. We are very indeed grateful. We have John sent to take to take care of us outside. You help? Please. Well, you guys, uh, you three did save us. Of course, we'll, we'll be glad to help. Thank you so much. So, Smithy just goes over to grab his big old hammer. And he grabs one of the rat pins there. Uh, like, uh, hits it a little bit. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so you just have an improved dagger. So I get the double D8 plus two. Yay! Yeah. Oh, oh, one D6. At least. Alright, so... Magnus at least uh, is able to point out that the main no, issue is right over there. Right here. Where you guys are meant to go. The legacy is right from the camera. 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 Can you check the black uh, bag? For a zip mark bag? No. Oh, it's a good one. Alright, so, you guys can mosey on over here. Yeah, you also have to do the X's. Okay. Do the mic go with you guys? Okay, cool. Yeah. E. E. So, as you guys notice, um, so as you guys notice, we managed to stumble upon already the, uh, the end of where you're supposed to go. So, you, you witness uh, that all the rats came around there are trying to rally up as many spiders that were around the, the distillery. And they're trying to crowd them together. One of them is the leader. Alright, please get as many of our army. For, for our army. We must ride them to conquer the land. Wait, I smell it. Go kill, kill them. So, in this instance, put all these around the circle. Around us or like there? Around there like that. Just try and fit them as much as you can. I think this one being the boss. Oh my god. Oh, you made a blanket. Blanket! Blanket! Should I just move something? Oh my god. So you can move it to be in the bigger, bigger room. Yeah. So that's like the whole point. Are we surrounded, or are they just like? They're right in front of you. Oh, you have one spider in the way. Spider in the way. So. 
So, in this situation, Smithy is just grunting. It's like, me, if only we had cheese to refuel. Well, Immediately when you show off the cheese, all but the leader would be in the other mouse? Genius! So both Smithy move over and Magnus move over and they throw the cheese over a certain spot. So all the rats, except for the leader, are preoccupied with the cheese. The spider is still there. No, like move the, move the rats where the X's are. Yeah, they're just too busy trying to like go go fight for the cheese. All right. Don't worry, we'll handle this later. Do your job. So, Smithy and Magnus are taking on the spider on themselves. Initiative for the rat king and you guys. Yeah, we didn't draw the Yeah, 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 I'm just gonna uh, put my hands up behind me. I like flutter my. Does she have lashes? Does she have like feathers for us? <laughs> so be like, do you really want to hurt us? Are we friends? And I cast my Does that have like a role for it? Uh, no, I mean just uh, for a minute. For a minute. I have advantage on all charisma checks directed at a creature of your choice that isn't hostile. Oh, oh they're hostile. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. Go murder him. Yeah, I'm just gonna like inch towards him. But you are right. Yeah, I just wanna look scary because she wants to be scary. So she casts precipitation and she kind of like makes sparks come off of her shoulders. And she goes, You really wanna do this? Okay. Wait, I don't want to go. I'm gonna go down here I like how much you want to I can check spots in a little bit. Oh, 18 plus plus three, twenty-one. So the big, the big mouse boss is staggers a bit back. He's still adamant, but he's a little intimidated. He's a little intimidated. Right, next up would be Kenny. I literally looked it up at night. I literally have to go. You can move closer so you can be able to move around. This is the last battle. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, four, oh, no, four plus uh, your dex. Oh, your d20. Yeah, this is just so Okay, Mr. Mouse moves. Mr. Rat moves forward. Uh, we're here? Uh, <laughs> so it's, yeah, double back. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Intimidation and stuff. So, so, yeah. Does a six hit? No. Yeah. I just, I just, I just hear him so much. Oh, yeah, they hesitate. You want to do this? It yeah, just hesitate. Quick. In Orlando, in the one in the outer box. You know, there was one. You remember the old box? Oh, nice. We're going all Molly Mock. You know that puzzle with BJ's? 
right there where that mask is coming from. What that thing is was in the book. Yeah, they have to pay. I am doing it in Tokyo. I have to pay I can see what the range of 60 feet. If the target can hear you, though it need not understand, you must feed on a wisdom training as well or take a look. And have a chance to manage the mask. Well, I don't know if that's what I can figure it out. Okay, so I step forward. Yeah, what happened to it? We have one of them there. They will turn it down. They turn it down the lights and everything. We all come up. We have two guys. They grab the wisdom. What type of wisdom? And the group of them. They take the wisdom off the wigs. And then they have them with the tarso. And the beat it part. Yeah. 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 Okay, cool. So only four damage. No, no that's a damage. Right? So you're done with that. Back to the initiative. Uh, the initiative. Is the cloud ring done? Uh, uh, yeah. Now I hit it. An alien? <laughs> Come on. You need to get a You gotta put that one. Ah! Oh, yeah. Why is it just the one? Eleven. 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 Oh, oh, Eleven. Eleven. Oh, and that's the thing here. Oh, eight plus four, twelve. Ah! Told you! No, she said, told you so! Oh, it's it's not looking pretty. But thankfully, we'll take off one wrap and the other one. So that one is actually eating from its pile. It was still fighting it to the death. Maginus was able. Uh, Magnus was able to. Shoot up yeah. and drop a chandelier yeah. on that I would rat over there. Nice. But I yeah, that one. <laughs> that rat's dead. Oh my god, he's my style. Yeah. The other two are still fighting at it. The spider's not looking so pretty at it. So, it's uh, a cat sister. Another dark one. That's going to be... That's a hit. I've never seen one of the entire thing. Even in that very world. Give it away. Forget about it. They're not one Never put it you managed to give one final throw, to which point, you want to say one right now? I have I have So it just looks over and asks about what? what? Right, right. Mm, it's dark straight into the eye. And it falls over. Oh, yeah. it drops, it went back up to me. Oh, yeah. the, the leader is down, sprawling. Now comes to the effect of all the other rats. One of them got so stupid, so hurt from the fact that the leader died. It totally managed to kind of drop his weapon, take the cheese, and run away. The other one is like, I have a flight from it. And then chases on that. <laughs> The spider is now kaput, thanks to, to, uh, to Smithy smashing in the head. Oh, Virgin? Not Virgin? Oh, Virgin? 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 Virgin?
So as the party gives the final blow to the leader, he screws his dragon even and he said to me, Curse you, feather feet. I die, die in pain. He takes one real final breath to the leader. No, no. Everything is scattered away, all the rats are gone, and everything. And Agnes and Smithy have been joined with, uh, with you two as you depart outwards. From there, uh, Magnus and Smithy thanks the party for all that they've done and everything. And hands each of you an acorn bag. Oh, yay. Here, this is for you guys to come back whenever you can. We're, at, we're deep inside the forest, and we'll be happy to, to accept you guys back. You can come whenever you want. I put it on my hat. Today's what we bid you adieu. Thank you very much. Do not drink that potion. Okay, I'm going to drink it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look, as the party returns to the top of the tower, they are soon greeted by the mage Kenku once again. Before he could squawk, the door where you guys came from slams open. So then slam on the mage because that was really it hits, it hits the Amazing. It hits the mage perch. Oh, as a man. Uh, so the wizard walks forward, and now you get to see the grandeur of this wizard that you're working on. And with the mystical mystic that you guys are enchanted with, you notice that the robes are indeed so magically gifted with like the galaxy. His beard, long, flowing, almost sparkling with life and, and magic, like it's just pixie dust everywhere. His hat as big as it can be, covering both of his mysterious old face. And his, his voice emits the harsh grandeur of like the mystical beyond. Thank you. Your service to you today have been fulfilled. You are free to leave now and go on. I am sure you shall find more work for me. Yeah, maybe oh, the wave of magic yeah. bids you a farewell and lets you depart. And then after that, we'll have for another task to turn to a forbid, like celestial sword, dragon majestic, lost thunder, came you. up with ten of Pikachu. Now this concludes the, the prologue. Oh yeah, and that Pikachu, I want that Pikachu. I want the show. For this, I have to talk to tally up all the XP and everything. Um, so to recap on what's going to happen, pretty much, you guys managed to task to go fend off the rat people. You managed to not only thwart the rat people's plans to accumulate the vast majority of large spiders that apparently have a competition inside this distillery, but you saved two other uh, citizens from another another town. In which case, it could be called Acorn Falls. So you have rescued the Acorn Falls residents, uh, their resident wizard, and Smith, whose name is Smith. So with this, you guys are now free to go off again to the next, to the, whatever next task you guys have. You meet up with your horse, in which case the horse was just simply just there, enjoying whatever peace it had throughout your adventures before. Alright, Yep, and for next uh, for the next session I'll have the uh, thingies ready for you guys. Huh? Yeah, hold on to it. You, you have a hold now. You get to hold on to it. Yeah. So you play it, 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 you play